Hi guys, this is Thomas from Growing with LED and I want to welcome you to our second episode of our light fixture testing series. Thanks for watching the first episode and the introduction videos. We have gotten lots of positive response and also some requests. And one of the requests was that uh, in the second episode we should do uh, HPS testing. So we have a benchmark in our testing. People who want to switch from HPS to LED can compare the HPS to different systems. And therefore I have chosen to use the equipment I have been using for years before I switched to LED. And this is in front of me. You can see here the Lumatec dimmable ballast, the Philips Sun TPA 8600 watt bulb, the adjuster wings lamp holder, and last but not least the adjuster wings reflector. All this equipment I've been using for years and is very reliable. I'm gonna unpack it now for you. First, we're gonna begin with the classic high pressure sodium bulb, which is you see here, you can see the Phillips. I try not to touch the glass so there's no fat on there because this will give burns on the lens. So, here we have the Lumatec, that's the ballast. The ballast, open up, it's a sturdy build purple ballast with aluminium cooling, passive cooling on top of it. Here is the two long connector cords and here you can see the dimmer switch for the different power adjustments. Also very reliable, good equipment, Lumatic. Last but not least, the adjuster wings. Here is the lamp holder, also with a very long cable which is always good so you can put it to outside the tent. And here is a reflector. This reflector comes with a light spreader which you can put under your HPS bulb. You do not want to use a light spreader for our light measurement in here. You can see the adjuster wings with the light spreader. And here is the two wings. They're connected together. So you take them out and then screw those two parts together to get your reflector. We're gonna do this and install all the equipment in our homebox tent. You can see behind me the Ambient Q120 Plus, my growing tent I've been using for years because we do here real life measurements in real growing environment. That's the whole key of the series and I look forward to show you the setup. We have installed the equipment now inside the homebox tent. As you can see here now the HPS bulb hangs inside the Just the Wings reflector. We have put the measuring grid and the lamp exactly at water level and the lamp is hand centered into the tent, so equal distance to all sides. And for the measuring distance we have chosen 60 centimeters from the top of the PAR 200 light measurement tool where the light sensor is to the bulb it's 60 centimeters. 60 centimeters is the recommended height to put this bulb above your plants for perfect growing. So that's what we're going to do the measurement. We're going to do two measurements because the first one is going to do with the normal power of our dimmable ballast set to 600 watt. So 600 watt for a 600 watt bulb. And then this Lumatec ballast also has a super lumen setting which gives 10% more power, 660 watts. And then we're going to do this measurement for that setting as well. So we have two light measurements at two different power settings. Here we have the Waltcraft Energy Logo 4000 measuring the HPS 600 watt right now with the Lumatec ballast set to the 600 watt settings. And at this moment we have 232 volts and drawing a current of 2.73 amps. If we push the mode button we can see this is using 628.5 watts at this moment was 335.7 volt ampere with a power factor of 0 0.98. Those are the measurements for the standard settings of the ballast. At this moment our Waltcraft Energy Logger 4000 shows an energy consumption of 232.8 volts at uh, a current of 3 amp amps. This is now at the super lumen settings which means 660 watts in our Lumatec dimmable ballast. And now we go one further and we see it draws now actually 691 watts and that's also 698 volt amperes 
at a power factor of 0 0.99. This is the power consumption for a second measurement at the super lumen setting from the Lumatec ballast. Now that we have finished our second measurement, we have put all the different um, grid measurements into an Excel file and prepared two lighting plots for you. We have the first lighting plot, which is the 600 watt setting on our dimmable Lumatec ballast. And you can see now here our lighting plot for the dimmable ballast. Here in the first lighting plot, you can see the 600 watt HPS with the ballast set to 600 watt. The measured power consumption was 629 watts. The BPFD sum, all measured points together, is 66,588 micromole per square meter per second. The BPFD average is 462. The BPFD per watt is 0 0.74. The BPFD minimum is 291. The BPFD maximum is 729. The homogeneity is 0 0.63 and the inhomogeneity is 0 0.40. You can see here in the plot that the distribution is a little bit um, diametrical because the adjuster wing uh, reflects the light The net not everything is directly centered under the lamp. That's why you have two hotspots with a highlight and intensity a little bit out to the sides. Yeah. As a second measurement, we have prepared the super lumen setting on the ballast, which is 10% extra power. And then we have also measured this, and here is the second lighting plot and the super lumen setting. Here you can see the second lighting plot with the super lumen setting. We have the 600 watt HPS bulb, the ballast set to 660 watt. And the measured power consumption here is 691 watts. The BPFD sum is 79,367 micromole per square meter per second. The BPFD average is 551. BPFD per watt is 0 0.8. BPFD minimum is 346. BPFD maximum is 820. Homogeneity comes out to 0 0.63 and inhomogeneity to 0 0.42. All those values are very interesting and uh, shows that more power also leads to more light. The distribution is a little bit uneven again that comes to the adjuster wing reflector. I found the result very interesting. As you can see it was very interesting to measure the two different power settings with the HPS lamps. This will be our benchmark now where you can uh, compare all the different LED fixtures to in our different uh, episodes of our lighting series. And I hope you enjoyed watching it and you're gonna tune in for the next episode. Allah until next time.